like any other trauma, your airway is your very first assessment. It will kill that patient much faster than that burn will. Fluid resuscitation using the Parkland formula is only for second degree burns greater than 20% total body surface area or electrical injuries. The primary IV fluid for burns is lactated rigors. If your burn is going to require fluid resuscitation, they're going to need a Foley catheter to measure hourly urine output, and we want that to be greater than 30 cc's an hour. Check the pulses every hour. If they change at all, call the team. Use the Doppler if you can't feel them. Keep all extremities elevated. They are going to swell, so pillows, 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 and more pillows. If the face or neck is burned, keep the head of the bed as high as possible to prevent swelling. Any burns to face, hands, feet, and genitals can use a plastic surgery consult. One of the best things you can do for your patient is to keep them warm. Thermal regulation is lost when they're burnt, so keep them warm and covered. It's important that you also assess for other traumas. Please don't be distracted by the burn. For any questions, just call the burn unit, 3983. They're always glad to help. Although the burn units are a great resource for us to have, it's important that the emergency department personnel know what to do in the setting of an emergency in case that the burn unit is not available. I hope you have enjoyed this top 10 list when it comes to burn care. As always, if you have any questions, we're here to help.